everyone, it's Jessica. So yesterday I posted a picture of a hair bow that I learned how to make. And today I am following it up with a tutorial as to how to make your own hair bow. So my hair is extremely fluffy right now because I just took it down from my hair bow that I had. So I'm working with this really fluffy hair. But you can do it on any hairstyle. It's just you know in your own hairstyle that really is going to work the best for you. So anyway. Okay, so let's get started. What you need is a hair twisty that is preferably the color of your own hair, but the way we're gonna do it, I don't think it's really gonna matter all that much. So just grab a hair twisty, grab a couple of bobby pins. I would say all you need is about four or five, but just depending on the thickness of your hair, you might need more. So, okay, and brush and hairspray, of course. So now let's brush through our hair as to get all the tangles out. As you can hear, mine is very tangly. And you want to pull it up into a high, high, high ponytail. I mean, we're talking about, we're going back to the 80s. So, pull it way up high. Way up high. And I'm also looking into a mirror right here as well because it's hard to kind of see myself in this one. So if I keep looking away, because I'm looking in a mirror. Okay. So you just really want to try to get all the bubbles out of the top part of your hair, okay? Now once you get a hang of this, you can always go back before you start doing your hair bow and tease your hair around um, the crane of your head so that it can make it more, um, make it a little bit more poofy up here and then you kind of have this hair bow on the side of your hair, that would be cute too. Or if you just want to leave it all just slick back with a real elegant bow, you can do that as well. So really, it's just your preference. Okay, so I have it up high. Now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna kind of move it over to the side, kind of like a side ponytail, because I want my hair bow on the side. But you can leave it in the middle. Okay, one more brush through. Try to get all those bumps out. Okay, now grab your hair twisty. You just start wrapping it around your hair, like if you're putting up a regular ponytail. Now I know we've all done this before, so we're gonna try to we're gonna make this little um, bubble thing, okay? So you pull your hair right up here in the front, and you're just gonna make this little loop, like pulling your hair through just a little bit, but not all the way through, okay? All right, so there you go, and now you want to kind of pull it tight a little bit. So oh, let me get real close here. So you're pulling it tight to where you have this little fan. Okay. Now, you take this hair right here that's in the front. I have hair in my mouth. And you kind of part this right down the middle. Part your fan down the middle or the bubble, whatever you want to call it. And you take that hair that you just had and you loop it Then you take your bobby pins. I'm missing some hair here. You just take that hair and you loop it back. Okay. All right. So then you take this is where you take your first bobby pin, and you just bobby pin it down back there. Secure that little tail. Okay. So done. The tail is secure. So now that you don't have this kind of weird piece of hair hanging around back out there. You pull it around and if your hair is long enough I would suggest just pulling it back over on the top again and bobby pinning that down. If not you can wrap it around the bottom of it, the base of it, kind of like how you would do in a regular ponytail. Just pin it again. Bobby pins are your friend. Okay, so the bow is kind of looking all weird right now, but you just kind of work with it. You can go back through, fluff up his side if you feel one needs to be a little fluffier. Fluff it up, fluff it up. And you go back 
with another bobby pin. Now at any point in this um, time you're playing with your hair, if you feel you need it to be a little uh, more stiff, if you have fine hair or something, just spritz it with some hairspray, like so. Kind of harden it up and it'll work a little easier for you. I have fine hair too, so sometimes I have to do that. Okay, another bobby pin. So now you kind of want your bow to not look like it's flopping around everywhere. So you want to take the end of it, just the end, and you bobby pin it. Okay. Yay! So we're kind of, <laughs> that's my daughter Charlie. She's saying hello. Yeah. So then you take another bobby pin and you pin the other side down. So. like so okay. so if you've also made a big hair bow you can kind of pull it back to the size you want by keep getting those bobby pins and just kind of keep making it smaller and smaller so um, that's good I kind of like my my bow and you just kind of make sure you fill in the places where you want and you know make it however cutesy you want so there is my bow Kind of spray it, fluff it up however much you want, make it look all pretty. You can also spray your bangs, move them over to the side, slick all your hair back, however you want, and, and go with it. So, still having to work on this other side. But anyway, so this is the gist of the actual hair bow. So, um, I hope you guys enjoy this. If you have children who have longer hair, they might love it. My daughter does not, so I can't torture her with that yet. But I'm sure it's to come. So, um, you can also wear this as an adult, you know, just to the pool. Or if you have a really pretty dress you want to wear it with, um, you can slick your hair back and make it look all nice and pretty so anyway please don't hesitate to try this if you have any questions please post below and i will try to answer them the best i can please post pictures of your own hair bow that you are inspired to make now i hope so you guys enjoy have a good one bye